Welcome back to Beginning Beekeeping in Texas. I know I haven't really been too active lately, but I've been in Alaska for a while and uh, didn't really get a chance to do much. Um, honey harvest hasn't been that great. Got like 75 pounds maybe, um, but overall it's just been kind of a crazy year. Really wet, really dry here in North Texas. And now it's starting to rain again, so maybe they'll get some fall honey. I left a bunch of honey on them so they wouldn't starve. Um, so I wanted to show you something. I was on one of the beekeeping forums. Uh, I think it was Beekeeping Basics or Beekeeping for Beginners. Um, and we were talking about storing frames. So here is basically my setup. I just got an old 15 cubic foot freezer and been doing that and uh so we were talking about storing frames what do you do i keep mine in a freezer but then this freezer basically kind of stopped working um it didn't freeze all the way uh any food that was in here basically melted so i mean it, it works you can see the ice i mean it, it works but it doesn't deep freeze anymore so it's kind of a cooler um, which you need to kill everything in here, all the eggs, the larvae, uh, and any moths that are on your frames before you store them, uh, or else they're just going to rip through everything. So I was talking to a guy and he was like, well, I use CO2. I was like, well, that's interesting. Where do you get CO2? He's like, well, you can get it at a, a welding shop, a hobby shop. I'm like, okay, well. And I started thinking, and I remember back to the old Mr. Wizard days. I don't know if you, any of you have watched Mr. Wizard, but he's amazing. Um, and he taught us about dry ice. Dry ice is fro super cooled CO2. That's all it is. I mean, it's extremely cold. You can't really touch it with your hands. Uh, it will freeze you your fingers pretty much immediately. I mean just doing that my fingers are pretty frosty So Can't hold it. You have to have an oven mitt, but I was like so if I melt Dry ice in here. It will fill with co2 Suffocating anything that's in here, and I don't have to leave this thing on all the time Which is also an added benefit and I'd also like to introduce my very newest tool, FLIR. I just plugged this in, literally just. So here you can see the, that's 46 degrees down there. So not freezing. Um, the ice on the side is 26. And then as you get down there, it's 45. So again, not going to freeze your frames. Um, sorry, I'm trying to do two cameras at once here. So this is not ideal. But what I thought was, let's see if we can put it on the dry ice here. I'm getting the floor of my thing. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Minus 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's just the outside that's melting. So when dry ice evaporates, it doesn't melt. It goes straight from ice to, to uh, gas. Um, it will fill this container full of CO2 and suffocate everything in there. So I thought that was a pretty cool experiment to run. So I just can't get over how cold this is. So I want to show you. We're going to... Well, that's my hand. We're going to turn this off for a minute. Hope it doesn't drop on the floor. So here we go. You do not want to do this. I'm in a garage. You do not want to do this in your house. Because if you, if this leaks into your house, you might, you might uh, suffocate yourself with CO2. And you will die. So be very careful. So here we are. Dry ice on top. 
I hope this will be enough to fill this. This was five pounds. Um, let's see if we can get this back here. Minus 60, minus 70. Excellent. So what I want to do is fill this with, uh, with CO2. So we're going to shut this. And then we'll probably put something on top. And cut my finger open in the process. You know. Like you do. Went out some bee boxes. Yeah, nice little cut. Okay, so that's it. Um, just wanted to kind of show you my little trick here. And now we can pretty much unplug this because we're not going to be needing it to be cooled anymore, which we'll save on our power bill. I do have one coming, but this thing quit in February this year. So right when the coronavirus hit, uh, really full swing and everyone buying uh, freezers by the dozen. So, all right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't. I hope this helps you out. And this dry ice was like five bucks. So I think this will do good.